This type of typing effect is very useful in many situations. There used to be different add-ons to create this within Blender. However, I think with the new Blender geometry nodes, it's really simple, but very few people know how to create it. So let's go ahead and figure out how to create this typing effect and make it such that we can have multiple lines as well. It's going to be a really short video with a very simple setup. So let's actually begin the tutorial. In our default scene, we'll go ahead and start off creating our actual text object. And we're going to do the entire thing in geometry node. So let's bring our cursor to the junction of these two windows, click and drag to create a new window, and then switch this from the 3D viewport to the geometry node editor. Then let's press this plus button to create a new geometry node tree, after which we can zoom in, select the group input, and press X to delete it. Now let's press shift A and search for a string to curves node, which is going to actually convert our string into curves that we can see. We can, for the time being, type in whatever string we want. Let's just type in the I for now. Now we can go ahead and rotate this about the x-axis by either rotating it on the x-axis like this, or we can use a transform geometry node right over here so that we can actually change this wherever we need to within geometry nodes itself. So let's rotate it on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Now that we have this, you can see that this text is currently just the outlines and if you were to switch off the overlays you can't really see the text so what we do is we press shift a and search for a curve to mesh node and plug that in right over here or you can also use a fill curve node this is going to create just the outlines so for the profile curve we can use a curve circle and just reduce the radius down to something like 0.1 or even thinner maybe 0.01 and you can see we should go to 0.01 and then even if you switch off overlays it can be seen however i think another method if you want solid text is by pressing shift a and searching for a fill curves node so when you plug this fill curves in right there you actually get the text and this is good enough of course you can make this thick by extruding the mesh and plugging that in right over here and you can see there's now some thickness you can choose how much by playing around with this offset remember if you were to extrude a mesh in geometry nodes the back face does disappear so you can and just switch off individual and join it in with the original mesh by searching for a join geometry node plugging that in right here and plugging the fill curves in over there that way we have a solid text of course for shading issues you should note that the normals are flipped so you should search for a flip faces node and plug that in right over here but this is just for good practice and most situations you will get away without having to do this however now that you have this set up you can go ahead and start with the actual animation so let's go ahead and first figure out how we're going to create text that we can change. For that, we can just search for a string node. So now what we want is to type in whatever text we need over here. So let's say you're watching and maybe on another line, I want the Iron Studio. So let's take this press shift D, bring it down here, and then type the Iron Studios over here. Now we need to join these two strings, but we want to join them such that every new thing that we add in will be on another line. For that, you can search for a join strings node, and this comes with a really useful point called the delimiter. So let's go ahead and just plug these in over here and plug this into the string over here. Now you see, we get your watching the Iron Studios. The delimiter is what is going to actually be present in between these two words or these two strings over here. So if we were to have a little dot, you see we have a dot there. We can add in many more. So let's just press Shift D and plug this in over here again. So now you see we have two there and studios and they are separated by this particular dot. We can type whatever we want. We could maybe use a percentage sign and now you have a percentage sign over there. Now, instead of this, we're actually going to have a line break. That's present in the special characters node. So we can search for the special characters, plug the line break into the delimiter. And now you see you get everything on new lines. We can change this to maybe right now. And now now you have you're watching the iron studios right now that's really useful and you can keep going ahead and making as many as you want but for now let's go ahead and just change this font to something better for that you can press this button and then you'll have to go to the windows fonts folder and you can choose whatever font you want so maybe i'll go with answer regular which is a font that you can download from the internet so let's click open font and now you have this or let's just go with Arial black because that's something everyone has remember you can choose to have this center aligned as well and you can choose where this is so if you actually see the origin is right over there so the first line it's going to be at the top baseline of that so you can choose to change that around you can choose middle and it'll be at the middle you can choose to have it at the bottom as well it's really up to you however i'm not going to have it at center because i want it to actually seem like it's typing so i'm going to keep this at left itself now let's actually see how are we going to make this look like it's typing so that's actually really simple to do all we need is another node called the slice strings node so you can just search for it and plug it in right here and now you can see the length is going to control how many characters are actually brought into the string to curves node so that's how you can animate this particular typing effect now this position is going to be the start 
from which the length is calculated. So you can clearly see that by increasing the position, it's starting from maybe the 12th character and then taking the next 26 character. If we increase the position by one, one disappears here and one appears over here. So you can use that to your advantage as well. You can also use this to make it seem like things are getting deleted. And those are different possibilities of animations that you can get. However, for now, I'll keep the position at zero and just increase the length to get everything in. Then to actually get the animation, you can go ahead and bring this timeline a bit higher and start keyframing this length. So on frame one, we'll go down to a length of zero and just hover over it and tap I and make sure that you have this particular node selected so that you can see the keyframes. If you have a different node, the keyframe will disappear. So just select this and you can see it. Then let's say maybe in 20 frames or one second. So let's go to 24. We can make the first word appear. So that's going to be your to a length of six. Hover over it and tap I. Then just select this particular keyframe and press Shift D so that there's a tiny break before the next thing starts getting typed in. So again, it's really up to you if you want that or not. So let's say after this six frames, we can go another maybe 35 frames because watching is a slightly longer word and just increase this length until the entire watching is pressed. So just add that in, maybe duplicate this once again. And again, remember, you don't have to duplicate this keyframe. It's just to make it seem like there's some gap and it's a real human typing and not just a robot. Then again, go a few frames later write in the next steps and just continue doing this till you have your entire thing hover over it tap i shift d bring it to the side go over a few frames plug that in and you should be done and make sure that you don't go overboard with the length only 39 characters is needed if you were to keyframe something like this so right now will happen really really fast within like a frame or two so make sure that you're at the correct number of characters that's necessary and then just tap i and that is it so now when you play back the animation you can see how the typing actually happens and i think that's really really cool so you can play around with the timing by just moving these for example the ion studios came in a little too fast you can press g and move it but again if you want you could always calculate that okay some number of characters is going to take some number of frames and then calculate the number of frames that you should move according however that again does become a little bit robotic because when you are typing by yourself there are going to be times where you're faster there's going to be times where you're slower in fact mid word as well you might have a small break so you could just tap i and just press shift D and duplicate this a bit so that there's a small break in between the word as well. So things like that can randomize this a bit more. But that's eventually how you get this type of a typing effect. Of course, remember that you would have to set material and stuff. So you can press shift A, search for a set material node, plug that in right here and choose maybe the default material itself. You can switch your viewport shading over to render over here and in the render properties, switch on bloom and screen space reflections. Down here, I'm going to make it maybe emissive. So I'll go down to the emission, just change this color to a white and maybe increase the strength to something like two. To have some nice reflections, I'll add in a mesh plane right at the bottom, press S to scale it, move it down, give it a new material and make that completely metallic so that there are really good reflections. I'll just reduce the roughness as well. And I think that looks really good. Let me just switch off the default light and for the world, make that a complete black, switch off overlays and this is what you have. So it's really up to you as to how you want to deal with this. You can always place the camera by clearing its location, rotation and moving it around appropriately. But again, all of that is up to you and what your requirements are. If you're happy with whatever you have, you can go ahead and press render animation. I hope that was a fun tip or at least a trick that you can now implement in various situations, whether you're creating overlays for your B-roll or you're creating some sort of a lyrics video, this technique can be incorporated alongside all of those. If you want to create other cool text like animations, you can check out this video over here where we learn how to convert from one text to another, again, using geometry nodes. The next video will be a very interesting one because I will be talking about a topic that many of you have actually asked about. So until that one comes out, thank you so much for watching. Keep creating and don't forget to stay creative.